So I got a real crazy story time. I'm just going to read this. If it takes the three minutes, it takes the three minutes. So when I was 17 years old, I met a man who was 39, being young and dumb, of course. He seemed nice at the time. It was fake. We messed around on and off, but at age 19, he asked to make our relationship exclusive. I agreed. At age 20, I had my first child by him. By the age of 22, I had three kids by him, had been emotionally and physically and financially abused by him. We were supposed to get married, but I found out he was legally still married. It was clear that he just saw me as a reproductive vessel and acted as if he didn't even care about me after the children. He wouldn't help me with the children, nor would he provide any support for them. At age 24, I decided to leave the relationship and focus on raising all three babies, all under five, alone. At the time, I was making minimum wage, living in the projects, and still in school. Fast forward to now, I'm 30 years old and my children are slightly older. I've graduated and managed to land a very lucrative management position while also working my family's business. I bought a nice home and my children are the happiest they have ever been. On his end, since our breakup, he has been shot, been through physical therapy, open heart surgery, multiple other surgeries, and has been deemed as disabled. He cannot physically run the street like he used to when we were together. Although he hadn't seen the kids in years, now he wants to see them. The funny thing is, when I take them to see him, he begs and pleads for me to give him another chance. He runs down the list of all his health issues and, try to, and tries to guilt me into taking care of him. The kicker is he got back with his wife and says that since she is going through her own health issues, she cannot care for him as much as he needs her to. I have built a comfortable life with my children and another man. If I had any sense when I met him, I would have left him where he stood. You're not getting a hospice care wife out of me. This story is sad kind of i mean she was preyed on as a youngster and obviously this person had a lot more experience this is why i i really want us to be sharing these stories so that our young girls are not getting taken advantage of by these old heads because these old heads are sucking the youth and vitality out of uh, out of a lot of these girls this woman was able to bounce back and create a life for herself and that is great Let's use this as a tool to help other women not have to go through these obstacles first to get to the other side. Thank you for sharing your story, ma'am.